Today, millions of people around the world said goodbye to Queen Elizabeth II. One DC coffee shop with connections to the United Kingdom has transformed its walls as a memorial to the late queen. Photojournalist Jesse Burkett Hall has their story. Hey, Kayla. Right behind you. So we're at the Ministry Coffee and Wine, a concept that I created. We serve, we call it specialty coffee, so it's more traditional coffee. Having lived in London, I thought, oh, well, I can make a hole in a wall work. It's called a ministry because um, in my last former former job, that's what the State Department is called, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, so I thought it would be a playful take to call it the ministry plus I love Harry Potter. Up until I was 18 years of age, I lived in Central Latin America. I ended up spending the second part of my life becoming an adult in the UK. So I was studying and working and then studying and working and then studying and working some more. I always identified with the old world in some way and I like history, um, tradition. Her name is Elizabeth, you know, like I'm Elisa, so it's from God or of God. Leaving her home on what must surely be the greatest day of her life, Queen Elizabeth... That was during the Queen's coronation. You will find her with a scepter, you know, like possibly not holding a glass of wine. Traditionally, you would have seen the Queen if she was ever sipping anything. It would have been a cup of tea or a glass of champagne, maybe for toasting. I did have the opportunity to be in the Queen's presence and during some events. She reminded me of my grandmother, and I thought, well, you know, it, why not put, you know, like Queen Elizabeth in the mural? That is where I became an adult. For me, she represented a strong female icon. Um, yes, you know, she stuck to tradition and like the sense of duty, like right to the end, and I think that's very admirable. You know, she, I think people tend to forget that she was a mother, she was a sister, a daughter. Your latte, I wish that I could be there, you know, in some ways to pay my own respects to, you know, that part of my life. You know, I lived there for 16 years, Maud. And it'll be very strange um, whenever it is that I go back to the UK to not, um, that she won't be there.